Hi everyone, thank you so much for joining us once again. My name is Natisha Paramasivam. I am the Senior Wealth Advisor and Director of Gold Tree Wealth Advisory. We're a financial planning business based here in Melbourne. Today I want to talk to you about how your personality determines how you should be investing. So in financial planning jargon, they refer to as um, a risk profile, but when I talk to my clients, I always say it's just a personality test. So when you head off to your first financial planning appointment, you will notice that typically your financial planner would complete a questionnaire with you or a risk profile questionnaire. This questionnaire comes out with a, a, a determination of the type of investor you are. So it's kind of like a box that you sit into. You can either be a conservative, balanced, a growth, a high growth, an aggressive investor. This is just a guidance or a guideline for your advisor to understand that if they ever construct a portfolio for you, so say for example you had some funds in super that you wanted to look at investing a little better, your advisor understands that because you're sitting in the box of being a balanced investor, when they split your funds into different asset classes. Now, I talked about asset classes a few weeks back, so if you're unsure what that means, just head back and watch that video. So they then determine how much of your funds sits in different asset classes. So if you're quite an aggressive investor, they might even look at maybe borrowing funds in order for you to invest into shares or property. For someone who is a little bit more conservative, then they would probably look at investing your funds into stuff like bonds, cash investments, stuff that are more conservative. So my advice to you when you head off to your first financial planning appointment is to be open with your planner. Now it is their job to make you trust them. So after you do feel comfortable with them, talk to them about everything. All your immediate goals, stuff that you're planning for, if you're planning on having children, if you're planning on updating your car, all of this comes into play. So be honest, tell them about how you feel about your life and where you're going with your life. Also talk to them how you are comfortable with different asset classes. If you don't like property for whatever reason, tell them and tell them why. The other thing you need to understand is that your personality evolves every day. And you need to understand that your tolerance towards different asset classes also evolves every day. If you have a pretty decent financial planner, your first meeting, you're gonna be bombarded with so much information that you walk away learning so much and you might actually feel like, hey, I am actually okay with maybe investing into shares and I never thought that that was possible. Education and experience changes your perspective on different things. So your advisor over time should be changing, tweaking and evolving your portfolio with the fact that you're evolving. So with all of that in mind, I hope you make the most out of your financial planning experience. If you have any more questions, you know where to head to. I'll leave all that detail down below. And please subscribe if you haven't already. And until next time, bye guys.